Cool. Testing. One, two. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So, we're going to start with integers. Integers mean whole numbers. Okay, again, whole numbers, not fractions, not decimals, whole numbers. All right, so we've got zero. Zero is in the middle. Okay, that's the, <coughs> that's the middle in this case. To the left is negative. To the right is positive. Okay, that's all it means. Negative means we're going to the left of zero or below zero. Okay, you know when we're reading um, temperature, um, when we have degrees Celsius, if we go below zero, they say negative four degrees. Okay, it's below zero that way. And then if we're talking about, uh, let's say money, okay, we normally go on a horizontal scale. So if we're going to negative money, we owe money, we are in debt, we have uh, less money, negative money. We're going to the left, okay? So I want you to do this for me, okay? I want you to have a look at this equation here. We're going to go negative 46 plus 12. Now, some of you brainiacs are about to put the answer in the comments. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and uh, I will show you. Yeah. So you, you, you pretty much already know the answer. But let's have a look at and label this properly. Now, a lot of kids struggle with this. So let's label the first number. Okay, we're going to label this the starting point. The starting point. Okay, starting point. We're going to label this plus, in this example, the direction. And then we're going to label this how far or duration. But let's go how far. And then the answer is going to be the destination. Okay, so there's your first bit of notes if you want to copy this down. Feel free to screenshot it if you like, but I'd rather you copy it down so you remember. Now, here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to start at negative 46. So negative 46 is going to be about maybe here. Let's pretend it's here. So negative 46. Okay, so that's our starting point, right? So we have our number line, we've got our starting point. Now we're going to plus. The direction is plus. So which way is the direction going to go, left or right? Left is minus, right is plus. So which way do you think we'll go? Right, that's it, right. So we're going to go right. We're going to go right, and how far do we go? 12, that's right. We're going to go 12 paces or numbers or counts to the right, okay? Now, Here's the tricky bit. <coughs> a lot of students think that when we add to a negative, it's gonna, this number is going to go up. No. Because it's a negative, it actually goes up more to the negative. We're not adding a negative. We're adding a positive. Okay? This actually says negative 46 plus positive 12. When we do positive numbers, we don't have to put a positive in front of the 12. Okay? That there means add, okay? Or, or we can do it like this. We can make it, okay, we've got a negative 46 and a plus 12, okay? So what's the, going to be the difference, all right? What's going to be the difference in total? Um, and then, now we don't go here because remember, it's the, it's the how far we're going. It's not the other... Uh, starting point. It's how far we're going from negative 46. Anyway, let's get it going. Okay, uh, anyone that thinks this is so boring, please leave the live. You're welcome to stay, but if you're going to comment this is boring, then you are a loser. Okay, negative 46. Uh, we're going to go a bit savage, I know, but hey, it's my house. I can do what I want. Negative 46, we're going to go this way towards zero. So the number's going to go down. So we're going to go. Um, 46 and then 12, so that'll become 44. We're going to take two steps because that will get rid of the two. And then we're going to go 10 more steps. We're at 44, 10 more steps becomes 34. Okay, so that'll equal 34. But because we're still on this side of the zero, we have to put the negative number in there. So negative 34. Okay, and that's your final answer. Who got negative 34? 
Who got negative 34? If you got negative 34, give yourself a big tick. Well done, okay? Now, now, you, now that you know this and labeled it, if you haven't labeled it yet, feel free to take a screenshot. Three, two, one, go. Cool, all right. Now, we're gonna do another problem, okay? Firstly, we're gonna redo that problem again, but with different numbers, and wanna see if you can figure it out, okay? You're not allowed to use a calculator. Now, if you didn't take notes, if you didn't screenshot that, and you're struggling with the next question, I'm gonna blame you because you didn't take the notes, okay? Now, let's have a look at another question. Let's go with um, 18 plus negative seven. Now, the reason why I put the negative seven in brackets is so it's easier to read. It's not 18 plus subtract seven, okay? Now, again, have a look at it. Where's the starting point? The starting point is 18. Now, is there anything at the front of the 18? No, so what does it mean? It's a positive, that's right, it's a positive. So, <coughs> which side of the zero are we gonna start on? The left or the right? The right, that's it. So we're gonna go here, so 18 is about here. The direction is plus, so which way are we gonna go? That way, right, to the right again. However, however, when we add a negative, it reverses the other way, it goes negative. So, here's a note you can take. Whenever you see a positive and a negative add, like this, it becomes a subtract, okay? So it's 18, take away seven, okay? Now we have the official direction, we're gonna go to the left. So 18, we're gonna take seven paces that way. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Ooh, there it is. The answer is 11, and it's positive 11, but you don't have to write a plus in front of it. Who got it right? Cool, excellent. All right, I'm just gonna um, block a few more people again that are being a little bit annoying. Guys, please don't flood the chat. I'm just gonna block you straight away. Cool, excellent if you got it, well done, okay? All right, 120, 130 people online, damn, that's awesome. Okay, so, <coughs> here's a note that you can take as well. All right, here's a note that you can take. If you have uh, a negative, and then you add a negative, which way are you going? Are you going left or right in total? If you have a negative and you add a negative, which way are you gonna go? Negative, okay? So negative, right? So if you start here and you add a negative, you actually end up going to the left, okay? If you go positive and you add a positive, you're gonna go positive. Yeah? Yeah? What about if you go uh, negative and you add a positive? You're gonna go positive. All right, if you have, what's another one we haven't got? We have a, ne a positive, and you're gonna take away a positive. Which way are we gonna go? We're gonna go towards the negative, okay? But it doesn't mean the answer is positive or negative, we're just going in that direction, all right? So, yeah, it's a bit confusing, but if you have these two like so, it automatically becomes a negative. Positive and a positive stays a positive. A positive and a positive stay a positive. And again, this is the same. That, that becomes a negative, so we're going that way. And then there's also a, uh, let's go with a positive. Take away a negative equals. Ooh, take away a negative. Ooh, what do you think it's gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be? Guys, if you're asking me what my YouTube channel says it is, it's literally on the board right here. Literally right here, okay? It's gonna be a positive. It's actually gonna be a positive, okay? That's right, uh, Aiden, well done. So it's actually gonna be a positive. Well done, okay? That's it. So there's some more notes for you. 
Right. Yeah. Right. And then if it's a negative take away a negative, what do you think it'll be? Feel free to screenshot it. If it's a negative take away a negative, what do you reckon it'll be? Let's have a look. Positive. Positive. So let's have a look. If we have negative 47 and we take away uh, negative 8 equals, what do you think the answer is? Here's another way I explain this in terms of money and debt. Okay? So let's say you owe $47. You owe $47. You're in the red. Okay, which means you owe someone $47. And then you pay them back $8. You pay them back $8. Okay, if you pay them back, you're getting rid of, you're subtracting another negative. Okay, that's a good thing. If you're taking away debt, which is what the minus is, you're going to be um, taking away from 47, but it's in a negative. I know this is the confusing part, but this is what happens. So you, um, so you're actually starting here, forty-seven, and because that negative eight becomes a positive, we're going to the right. So forty-seven plus eight to the right, that forty-seven goes down. I know that's super confusing, and bear with me. I'm still trying to figure out as many as possible analogies to make sense with it. Okay, so forty-seven all the way to zero, we're gonna end up at negative 39. So negative 39. So we've just paid back $8, we've got $39 left to give, okay? Here's another example in terms of analogy, okay? I'm gonna use some different colors, okay? This is one of the things that my um, colleague at school, shout outs to Joe. Um, has um, given me. It's called the hot air balloon um, analogy. So, we're going to have a hot air balloon like so. Okay? Hot air balloon like this. Alright? And how does a hot air balloon rise? Flames, like flame emojis. We're going to make them blue, okay? And we're going to make them positive. Okay? Every plus represents one extra uh, positive that the, uh, the one meter from the ground that it raises, okay? So uh, one positive is one meter, but let's not get into that super hardcore where we're convert converting units and all that stuff. Anyway, so let's say we've got four positives. What are we, what, what's our number? Four, or positive four, right? Now we're gonna use blue as our negative, we're gonna. What makes the uh, balloon go down? And the answer is sandbags. Okay, so these ones here are our sandbags. Okay, so we got four negative sandbags. So negative four. If the hot air balloon right now was on the ground, does it take off? Yes or no? If it has four negative and four positive, does it take off? The answer is no, okay? Because negative four and positive four cancel out. Negative four plus four equals zero. If we're on zero, we are on the ground, okay? So let's go and use this equation. This is my favorite, right? I'm gonna use purple, okay? Shout outs to all the queens out there whose color, whose favorite color is purple. Whose favorite color is purple? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna write an equation here, and I want you to read the symbols and have a think of what the negatives and the positives are doing, okay? Let's do it. Okay, so negative 12 plus negative 32, okay? Does, first question, does the hot air balloon get off the ground? No, it doesn't. That's right. 
okay? So negative 12 plus 32. The plus and the minus means we're adding more negatives, okay? So we have negative 12. We, got, we have 12 sandbags, right? And we're adding more sandbags. So how many sandbags do we have in total? 12 and th 32. 12 plus 32 equals 44. Now, that's sandbags. What do we use to represent sandbags? Negative, that's right. So negative 44. And that's the answer. There you go. How about that for a trickery maths thing, okay? Does that make sense? Does that make it a little bit easier to understand integers? Okay, I'm going to test you on this one, all right? Have it, keep thinking about hot air balloons, sandbags, and flames, okay? I'm gonna erase all this, okay? Hopefully you're taking the notes, okay? So, let's do it. Let's go with, um, Another problem. I'll see if I can find one. Let's go with 24 take away negative 6. Take away negative 6. Okay, taking away negative. Taking away negative. Okay, so let's have a look. How many pluses do we put in? That's a positive, okay? So we've got plus 24. So we're about 24 meters off the ground, okay? Hypothetically. And then we take away negative six, okay? If we're taking away, now this is the confusing bit for some of you. If we're taking away a negative, we're actually getting rid of sandbags because we're taking them away. Bye, Felicia. Taking away a negative. We're throwing the sandbags off the hot air balloon. No, nope, we don't need you. So if we're taking them away, that means we're adding to the flame emojis, okay? We're gonna be even lighter. So then we're going to be adding more because the hot air balloon's lighter, okay? Plus six equals plus 30. You don't have to write plus 30, you can just write um, 30, okay? Who got 30? Yes, yes, well done queens. Good job, all right, cool. Hopefully that makes more sense with the hot air balloon, sandbag, and flame stuff analogy. If, that, if that's really helped you, let me know. Um, that's a really good one, okay? So if you're ever thinking about any integers ever, think about it like this. I'll give you one more for um, fun as a practice, a really hard one. We're gonna go with negative eight, take away negative 14, okay? We've got sandbags. First question, oh, out of the blocks, does the hot air balloon raise off the ground? Does the hot air balloon raise off the ground? Yes, it does. Well done. Now, let's have a look at back at the original analogy. Our starting point is negative eight. So we've got eight sandbags. We're very heavy right now with our hot air balloon. We're not getting off the ground, okay? But we've also got 14. We've also got 14. Uh, sandbags. So theoretically, we've got a lot of sandbags. However, we're going to take 14 sandbags away. All right. So eight take away 14, which gives us what? Um, because in theory, we have, I mean, uh, a lot more, but let's say eight and we're going to take away 14. So eight we're going in the neg negative direction, which is that way. But because it's negative 14, we're taking negatives away. So we have to go that way, right? And yes, by all of your comments, we are at positive six, okay? Positive six, do we get off the ground? Yes, we do, bye Felicia, six meters, whoop. Now, here's another way to do this. <coughs> Some people struggle to get from eight to the positive six in one step. Here's a way to do it. How many steps do you take, or how many sandbags do you take from negative eight to get to zero? To get to zero. Eight, that's right. Now how many more sandbags do you need to get rid of still? 
The answer is the difference between eight and 14. Six. So from zero, we've got six more sandbags to get it rid of. And now we're in the, in the positive section, it's plus six. That's why the answer is plus six. Ooh. Okay. Right, that concludes integers. I hope that's helped. Um, next time with integers, we're going to be dividing and multiplying integers, okay? But adding and subtract subtraction, I hope that helped. Yas Queens.